So this video is about hybrid composites and the kind of hybrid composites that we're going to be looking into is a synthetic natural fiber composite. That means a composite that is made up of a synthetic fiber like a glass with a natural fiber composite like jute or pineapple fiber. And when we bring that all together, we want to create a representative volume element of such a composite. And then the idea is to then show you how to undertake a represent volume element modeling of this type of composite. If you're interested in this video, then sit back and relax as we get started with this video. So as we get started, I want to show you some of the theory, the setup of the model. And basically this is a virtual domain representation of the system we're going to work about. It's a micro scale representation of this hybrid composite and the dimensions will be length, width and height of 200 microns. And if you look at the planar view, which is the view in this direction, so width wise will be 200. However, the height wise will consist of these two layers with a first layer here and a top layer there. Each of these layer will be 100 micron thick and at the top everything will be buffed with an epoxy matrix so right at the top i've got a fiber bundle and then at the base we also have an epoxy bundle the fiber bundle at the top system will be a natural fiber system which is made of pineapple fiber and the bottom end here will be the epoxy system here which is made up of an e-glass system so this is sort of the setup of the model the idea is then we want to create these two layers and then combine them together and create the represent volume element in three dimension so one of the things that we need to note is that the coordinate of this point will be zero zero and the coordinate at this point will be zero one hundred and then of course the coordinate at the top will be zero two hundred so this is really important as we begin to dis distribute the fibers within the spaces and this is why i'm noting them right away now, how do we actually generate this random representation that we are interested in? And what I've done here is that you can do it manually by hand and simply go ahead and distribute this data as you, as you see fit. What is really important that you have to find the coordinate of the X and Y position for every of the fibers that make up the system. So you can do it manually and just generate them and that will be fine. But I've got a, a code that I've written that sort of automate this process and they were going to use that. And it's called a Monte Carlo Gen 2D. So it creates a 2D representation representation of this sort of layer by layer representation so we're going to use that now once you get that it outputs a python script this python script will then be run inside abacus directly abacus will then help us generate the sketch that we're working we just simply sketch save that sketch and we import into a fresh new model that we're going to use to create the hybrid composite and ultimately generate the 3d hybrid composite RV. So we are going to need a little bit of help in the Monte Carlo Gen software. And if you're interested in how to ex get your hand on this Monte Carlo Gen software, please look in the description section of this video so that you can get a copy of this software, which can help you to quicken and expedite the process of what we are trying to do. Now, at the end, the material that we're going to be studying here would be of this table. So the epoxy matrix, it's got its Young's modulus and tensile strength and the Poisson ratio, it's going to come take 50% of the RV. And then the next bit here is so the pineapple fiber. So it's got the properties here. The key is the diameter is 30 microns and it's going to present 20% of the volume. While the A fiber will also be 25% of the volume. And then you've got a di diameter of 20. So these are the two things that we are going to work with in setting up this model. The hybridization ratio, which is the combination of the fibers in this case will be one is to one because they are slightly the same volume fraction that we are working with. All the fibers, of course, I'm going to treat them as linear elastic in this simulation. So what we're going to basically do here is to show you how you can use this software that I've called Monte Carlo Gen to create the coordinate position. So if you get the get hold of the code, it will essentially have two files within it. Monte Carlo Gen, which is the executable and then a computational control deck file. So if we open it as text in here, so we want the first layer, which you know will be 200 micron long and the height will be 100 microns the diameter of that first layer is basically made of the e glass which we know is 200 in diameter it's got a, a, a falling fraction of that and it starts off with zero zero as the origin so we know that we want this to be e glass and the matrix will be epoxy and of course we're looking at the first composite material that we're interested in so every other thing remains the same what only thing that we, we don't want periodicity to be set to zero we want every fiber to be locked within the system so once we've done that then we can right click here and say run so what when it will run it will basically create this random distribution of the system in the way we want it so at the end that's what we're going to see and that's the distribution 
that we are going to work out. So clearly it's worked out the right volume fraction of about approximately 25% fiber diameter and all that. So if we want to do the second case, so we've got the simulation written down there. The second case in this case will be based on the same dimensions. However, the diameter changes to 30. The volume fraction is the same. The origin of that second layer will be 100 because it's 100 micron up. And we want this to be pineapple and it will be the composite layer too. Every other thing remains the same. So we can then simply go here and run the script. So now we have fatter, bigger size fibers and clearly it shows also the simulation that we have here. So if we then open up this, these files, you will see that it has a Python script. So if we open this as text in here, so you get a Python script that we that was created and this is what we are going to then use within our model to create this domain in Abacus. So we're going to go into Abacus as I show you how to set up these models. All right, so here we are in Abacus and the first thing we're going to do is to create the two layers that make up this virtual domain. So, and we're going to use the Python script that is created by Monte Carlo Gen 2D. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say fire run script and then we'll find where the code is. And so we start with the first code, which is this one, which is the system. So if we go there and then click OK, so what it will do is that it will run through and it will create the domain. So I'll just rename this and call it um, LVE. And then we'll run through the same thing again. So we'll run another script and then bring in the pineapple. So the pineapple is here. So we'll rename that as well. So and that will be LVE. So we've got the two materials here. Okay, so what we're now going to do is that we're going to look at the e glass fiber under features, shell, and section sketch. So this is a distribution that we want to work with. So we go onto this and save this one. So I'm going to call it sketch e glass. So that's fine. And then click OK. So we just update the future. So tell it to regenerate. But if we haven't made any change, this is fine. So we now go to the same case, which is the pineapple under part module. So again, on this, so we find this sketch. For the pineapple which is this so that's the division so we just have to save it so i'm going to call it sketch pineapple again we'll try and regenerate the future so we've got all both of them as normal so no problem so here now i'm going to rename the model one i'm going to call it my hybrid okay so this is fine so what we're going to do is that we're going to import the two sketches that we have already saved into this current model which is the hybrid composite so how do we do that on that model you copy the objects and the objects that we want to copy here is the sketch so we're copying it from e glass sketch e glass to the hybrid composite and we click ok that's fine so we'll do the same thing we copy the object this time from pineapple which is this one to hybrid and we we'll click ok so we're going to the pineapple to create the part now so so the first thing we're going to have here is um, a glass layer so we're going to use a restriction method to create that continue now it's asking us what do we want to use so we've already got the sketch so we simply have to open the sketch and what you have here is the e glass so we'll do that so, okay this is perfect so it's probably oriented in the way we want it and we click okay so this is fine and you click done so how deep do we want it we want it, we want it to be 200 so this is excellent so we've done this for the first case so we'll do the same for the second case by creating the second part so this will be the pineapple layer so again extrusion method we open the part that we've already sketched and then it gives us the data and we want it okay and the how deep we want it to be 200 so we've got the two layers and if you're really enjoying the content that i'm making i do encourage you to please subscribe to this channel so that when content like this are made you'll be the first to see it and if there is a comment that you have about the strategy that i'm using in terms of creating this uh, representative volume element please do let me know in the comment and i'll be very interested to see what you're learning or what is very new to you or what you're grappling with in this area and how i can be of help to you and then we can then go ahead and create the matrix medium so we know that the matrix medium will be 200 by 200 again extrusion method so this time around we have to sketch it starting from a region of zero and 200 and 200 and the so this is the sketch the the rv and then how deep we want it is 200. so we've got all that perfectly arranged the way that we need to be so we simply need to go to the assembly module and create the three instances that we want so you can see they are all perfectly in order so if we look at the part instances it does show everything in the way it's supposed to be so we simply need to merge all of them so this will be my high composite rve we merge it return the intersecting mode 
and then accept everything here as correct so then we create the materials so i'm just going to call e-glass and what are the elastic properties of e-glass so that's what we see here is 73 gigapascal so 73 e to power 9 and 0 okay so that's the properties of the e-glass okay so let's add a bit of plasticity but simply because we know that the strength of this is 1950 so we copy that so we paste it here and of course a plastic strain on zero so this is what we have for e-glass so we'll do the same thing for pineapple and what are the elastic and strength properties so pineapple has got a 60 gigapascal young spondylus and 900 strength poisson ratio of 0.3 so elasticity will be 60 8 power 9 and 0.35 and strength wise in terms of its plastic yielding so it's 900 8 power 6 and 0.0 okay this is fine and we've got all that so let's create the section so a class section so of course we have the properties for that as a class and then the same thing pineapple section so we've got the properties for pineapple as well so we can also create the properties for the epoxy so epoxy which is the matrix the epoxy is 4.5 and 65 and 0.4 so the strength is a 4.5 8 power 9 0 0.40 and the strength plasticity is 65 8 power 6 megapascal and 0, 0.0 so similarly we create a strength for that so this is the epoxy section so the section for the epoxy we see here and they are all fine so what we now need to do is while we go back to the part module we can then do a section assignment within here this is clearly the one we want to work with so i'm going to remove based on cell this component so click anywhere where the matrix is and then click on so leaving the fiber okay then i'll look at the xy view of that and take our perspective the idea here is that we can then select the region that we're interested in this is a assigned section so i'll select this region untick that click done so we know that we want that to be e glass okay and then we'll select that one and we know that this will be the pineapple according to our plan so this is our pineapple and then if i invert the two so what i will have left behind in the end will be the epoxy so I assign the epoxy as well so if i then go to material return everything then everything looks correct perspective out of place and that so we've got a really nice representation of the problem with the fibers and the metrics and this lovely rv that we need so what we can then do still while we're here is to try and mesh the model so okay so it's giving 20 so let's look some something a bit half of that so we've got a seed length of 10 and we can then accept how we're going to mesh that so i'm going to mesh it with a hexagonal with the media axis algorithm okay and then we can now look at that so once we get to this stage so obviously what we have is a lovely representation of the model nicely meshed with all the elements in place as it's supposed to be so we can obviously continue to improve the mesh quality but for a very first go at the problem we are quite happy with what has happened here and so this is what we can see at this first video which shows you just how to create the represented volume element of this hybrid composite using the aid of multi gen 2d which sort of makes it easy and quicker to use if you're interested in learning how to undertake a full holistic modeling of this hybrid element i've got a detailed video here which shows you from model creation to running different simulation if you just want to focus on how you can undertake a tensile formation on this then this is a video that can help you thank you for your interest in this channel and I'll see you in the next